what's going on guys today we're going to be talking about bill gates and this is a very hard topic to talk about mostly because he's a very censored guy if you say anything wrong about him or if you attack him in a certain way the media or youtube or facebook instagram any platform will immediately silence you for this reason i'm gonna create a very clean version a clean story about him pretty much just give you my perspective of bill gates what made him who he is too much internet check out the full uncut unedited version version on that channel. Bill Gates becoming who he is is not just pure luck. It's not just because he's a genius. Bill Gates has a very powerful family. For example, right here we have Bill Gates Sr. which is Bill Gates' dad and he's in the same room and you can see right here you have Dr. Fauci, you have David Rockefeller, which in this video it's kind of hard to see so I will provide different photos of this same event where you will see David Rockefeller. The negative impact of population growth on all of our planetary ecosystems is becoming appallingly evident. And if you guys don't know who these people are, then you're probably wondering why I'm bringing up these people. For example, Ted Turner was someone who would constantly and publicly speak about world depopulation. Got to stabilize the population. When I was born, no, there were So too, what's wrong with the population? I mean, with too many people. That's, what, that's why we have global warming. We have global warming because too many people are using too much stuff. But if they there were less people, they'd be using less but stuff. It, so Bill Gates' dad served on the boards for Planned Parenthood. When I was growing up, my parents were always involved in various uh, uh, volunteer things. My dad was uh, head of Planned Parenthood. And it was very controversial. Uh, to be involved with that and the reason why i'm bringing up bill gates father and planned parenthood because it's just like father like son just like bill gates senior is connected with planned parenthood the same thing with bill gates and now it's the bill and melinda gates foundation in 1999 the bill and melinda gates foundation gave 2.2 billion to planned parenthood the united nations population fund and other population reduction groups and not to mention, just like Bill Gates Sr. would have these meetings with Rockefellers and Ted Turners, Bill Gates was actually in meetings with the same people as well. A secret gathering of some of the world's most powerful people. Gates, Buffett, Bloomberg, Winfrey. It was like, well, it was like the Super Friends. Together with others at the meeting, including George Soros, Ted Turner... What's wrong with the population? I mean, with too many people. David Rockefeller... The negative impact of population growth. And then if you dig a little deeper into the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, you will see that they are connected to population control, which you've seen the Rockefellers and Ted Turner talk about it as well. In 1998, Dr. Zabin became the founding director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Institute for Population Control. But according to recent news, Bill and Melinda are splitting up. And what the developing world does not need is more children. Hmm. And I think that was the biggest aha to Bill and me when we got into this work, is we asked ourselves, of course, the same hard-nosed question you'd ask, which is, if you get into this work and you start to save these children, will women just keep overpopulating the world? And thank goodness the converse is absolutely true. And I do want to give you guys some advice. When you research into these people, I would suggest you stay away from Google because Google works with fact check, likes to filter everything, and you start researching with DuckDuckGo. Bill Gates' dad was a man of status. Things I got to be a, a page in Congress because of uh, friends of, of my dad's that uh, let me do that. So I had a great upbringing. In the summer of 1972, at the age of 17, Bill went to Washington, D.C. to work as a Senate page. His exposure to politics and government would come in handy later on. Even his mom was a woman of status. And by then, my mom was on various boards and uh, had experience. It, it was a real help to me. And that gave Gates a great advantage over just the average person. At key times, uh, my dad was very helpful. Early in the company, uh, we actually had a legal dispute. And uh, I called up my dad, talked to him at length, and uh, sticking through that one, uh, well, he's a lawyer, so you got free legal advice. Absolutely. What were the non-Microsoft browsers that you were concerned about in January of 1996? That month. Yes, yeah, sir. And what about it? What non-Microsoft browsers were you concerned about in January of 1996? I don't know what you mean, concerned. Um... What is it about the word concerned that you don't understand? 
Uh, my dad was very helpful. Early in the company, uh, we actually had a legal dispute. Well, he's a lawyer, so you got free legal advice. Absolutely. I'm not sure what you mean by it. I'm not going to take any credit away from Bill Gates because at the end of the day, he's the one that created Microsoft. There's a lot of shade of how it happened. The Justice Department has charged Microsoft with engaging in anti-competitive and exclusionary practices designed to maintain its monopoly in personal computer operating systems. For example, one of Gates' friends said that Bill Gates told them, be careful what information you tell me. Bill once had a conversation with me, says, you know, I'm a competitor, so even though I'm a friend, don't tell me information that you don't want me to use against you, because... It just kind of shows what kind of a friend he was. So of course creating Microsoft was a difficult task. Bill Gates has had friends along the way that have helped him create Microsoft. Also I'm sure a lot of you have heard he has double crossed a lot of his friends. He has stolen information from companies. Gates introduced Microsoft Windows. It would become the company's signature program. Critics quickly noted that in its use of a mouse and icons, it bore more than a passing resemblance to the Apple Macintosh operating system. Infuriated, Apple decided it would not allow Gates to take a bite out of its business and threatened to sue over Windows. Gates in turn said he would withhold Microsoft software Apple desperately needed. In the end, Microsoft overpowered Apple in the courts. Well, he's a lawyer, so you got free legal advice. Absolutely. Back in the 80s, people really didn't like Bill Gates. But putting all that aside, Bill Gates is a very powerful man. And to some people, that might be something that they worship, something that they look up to. And to some people, that might be scary. I just personally think that one human, one person should not have all that power. No one man should have all that power. Right now, Bill Gates is on a mission. He's pretty much trying to control the entire food supply for the planet. In India, there's a protest going on with the farmers, but a lot of that has to do with Bill Gates trying to monetize farming. Like they're trying to add technology to the way people farm down there and charge the farmers money for their technology. A lot of people might think that's a good thing. They might make some improvements in the way they farm. Maybe technology should be included in that and some people might not. At the end of the day, the farmers are not happy a lot of farmers have committed suicide. Bill Gates is one of the biggest investors in Monsanto's. He owns 500,000 shares. I don't know if you guys heard about Monsanto's, but you guys should really look it up. They don't have a very good track record. I'm going to put it nicely. They're a very disliked company. They are known for putting GMOs inside our food, which is genetically modified organisms. A lot of those genetically modified organisms contain chemicals that we don't even know about. But I feel like that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Bill Gates. Some people might think he's uh, doing good for the planet. I feel like there's always two sides to an argument. Maybe he is trying to help the planet because there's a lot of children in the world who are starving to death. So I would understand why he would want to create genetically modified food because if there's not enough food to feed them, maybe the genetically modified food can feed them. But my problem is the fact that he's trying to do this worldwide, even here in my country, even in the States, he's trying to tell us that we should start eating genetically modified food. We should start drinking water made out of manure. He challenged engineers yeah. to make something that could take sewage. You just drank yours. Cheers. That was both poop water? Absolutely. You were unbelievable, Bill Gates. I can't believe you did that to me. Nah, yeah, but that's as pure as any water you've ever had. It tasted really good. Yeah, no, that's the, well, it was good poop. So, so far, Bill Gates has control of a lot of farmland. He wants to control our food supplies. He also wants to control our medicine. You've invested $10 billion in vaccinations over the last two decades. And you figured out the return on investment for that. And it kind of stunned me. Can you walk us through the math? There's been over a 20 to 1 return. So if you just look at the economic benefits, uh, that's a pretty strong number compared to anything else. And let's keep in mind, Bill Gates has never graduated college. I just don't understand how someone who doesn't have a PhD, who's never studied medicine, who's never studied virology, has so much power over the world's health. Having all that money can buy you whatever you want, including making you a doctor. The ultimate solution, the only thing that really lets us go back completely to normal and feel good about sitting in a stadium with lots of other people is to create a vaccine and not just take care of our country, but take that vaccine out to the 
global population. A lot of people who love Bill Gates, who talk about Bill Gates, they're gonna talk about how Bill Gates is such a good person. He's given more wealth than anyone in this world ever has. But before you make that argument, don't forget Bill Gates donates all those billions of dollars to himself. But new reporting from the New York Times outlines numerous meetings between Gates and Epstein and a conversation with Bill and Melinda Gates' foundation, a connection between their foundation and JP Morgan to set up a charitable fund that would financially benefit Epstein. You know what I wanna know? Why? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, that's his own charity. So technically when he donates all that money, he's just donating it to himself. He's not giving his wealth to the world. The only people who will see that money is Bill and Melinda. By 2007, the Gates had given more than $30 billion, almost exclusively to population control groups. The controlled corporate press cynically reported that the Gates were giving the money to help third world children. And not to mention, when he donates that money, he gets a nice tax credit from all that money he donates. So he makes money, he donates it, and he gets a nice credit. He also has one of the largest, most established foundations on his own. Yes. Why would they ever set up a charitable trust benefiting Jeffrey Epstein? Well, not only does he have the world's largest charitable foundation, but one of their primary missions is to help young women in un underprivileged countries. Jeffrey Epstein was preying on young women from Eastern Europe, from South Africa, luring them into his web. And it's the antithesis of what the Gates Foundation stands for. So how is Bill Gates connected to the World Health Organization? Well, he is the second largest donor, and that's second to the United States. The U.S. funds about 20 percent of the WHO budget that's about 400 to 500 million per year making it the organization's largest donor the who's second largest donor the bill and melinda gates foundation so he's very heavily invested into everyone's health a lot of people once again you guys might think bill gates he's a good guy if he's fighting for our health i'm so glad i have someone like bill gates fighting for us fighting for our health and if you think that I can't really say nothing to you. And a lot of people might think, oh, he's, he's such a good guy. He's donating to the World Health Organization. You guys have to realize that Bill Gates literally said on an interview, vaccines is the best investment he ever made. He literally 20Xs his money. Over a 20 to one return. So if you just look at the economic benefits, uh, that's a pretty strong number compared to anything else. We're in the middle of a pandemic. These guys, instead of giving away these vaccines because apparently the whole world needs them to survive, they're actually profiting from these vaccines. And I'm not even going to get started whether I trust or I don't trust these vaccines. I think Bill Gates is trying to buy out the entire world and that's exactly what he's doing. And he's not shy to show it. it the media shows it. It's everywhere. But people don't seem to care. Who knows? Bill Gates could be a great guy out there to save the world. Kind of give you guys a, I guess an Easter egg. Go on google.com and I want you to Google this patent. Now this is a patent for cryptocurrency. All you have to type is W0202006060. I'm not even joking, like, I don't know if you guys could see that. Everyone right now thinks that Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are the richest people in the world, basically because Forbes. But I honestly feel that right now, Bill Gates, he probably hides a lot of his wealth with his charity. Technically, when he's giving all that money away, he's giving it to himself. There was a time when you and a few other people came and were criticized for not being more philanthropic and then you became incredibly philanthropic was it was it a change of heart or had you always known that you were going no, to make no, this no. move the criticism was totally wrong mm -hmm. I mean, that it is you're right he was criticized but it was it was mis it was misplaced because bill has always been generous and uh, from year 1 when the company was going why He's been a, a model citizen. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a huge asset because it's a charity, it's not taxable, and I don't think it gets added to his net worth. Now with this new patent, you're gonna kind of see what we're kind of crawling into, what the future is gonna look like. So now the billion dollar question is, does Bill Gates have his best intentions for humanity? And honestly, on this channel, I cannot honestly answer that. Ask yourself, do you think it's fair that one person, one man should have so much control over humanity? 
not only does he have so much control over it now but he has so much control over the future of humanity and I'm pretty sure this is the tip of the iceberg so ask yourself those questions do some research and if you guys want to see the darker truth with no filter I will be posting up a new video on my new channel so obviously I hope he has humanity's best interest but if he doesn't this is a very dangerous game he's playing I just really hope people open their eyes and they start to realize what's going on around them either way guys Thank you for listening. If you guys enjoyed these videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps my videos with the algorithms and it really helps for more people to see this message. And if you think people need to see this message, then please share my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Is the world's largest private philanthropy causing harm? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has made millions of dollars each year from companies blamed for many of the same social and health problems the foundation seeks to address. The Gates Foundation has investments in 69 of the worst polluting companies in the U.S. and Canada. Other companies in the foundation's portfolio have been accused of transgressions, including forcing thousands of people to lose their homes, supporting child labor, defrauding and neglecting patients, and medical...